There we go. There we go. Check that out. Right there. Oh my god, we got one! what is up bfp nation welcome back to another awesome video today as you can see behind me i am at a tiny little creek and we're going to be trying out a fish trap here's my fish trap that i've been using for a while uh, it's worked really good i've made a lot of videos on it and we've caught some pretty awesome stuff in it but i thought the other day what have I not caught in it? And what would be pretty easy, I think, to, to catch in it? And I've realized that no one has made this video yet, and that is a snakehead fish trap. I am at one of my best snakehead spots, and it's a golf course, and there's tons of lakes with a lot of snakeheads. But back here, all the way in the back is this little creek. And as you can see, it goes all the way down there. Like, it goes really far down. I made a video here a while ago where I was saving some fish from this creek because it was actually drying up over the summer. And now we've gotten a lot of rain, so it's back up again. We would come here at night and we would see endless snakeheads. And the snakeheads in here are not too big because I guess it's a little sanctuary for the little ones to get big because there's so many minnows and little fish like that for them to grow. So I think this is a perfect place to try out my snakehead fish trap. We're gonna place it over here, I think in the deep end. Uh, it's pretty deep over here, like two or three feet. That way we get, it's like right in the middle of everything. Like snakeheads are coming through here, snakeheads are coming through here and they're all back in there and they can come in uh, through the ponds, through this pipe over here to the middle. Like it's a perfect place for it. Now for this fish trap to actually work, we need bait. Um, obviously the snakeheads are not gonna swim in the fish trap just just cuz we're gonna catch some little bait fish like bluegills or cichlids or whatever and put them in the fish trap so that they have a reason to go in maybe they're hungry i mean all these little snakeheads in here are always eating like little fish so i think little bluegills will be perfect for that first order of business we need to get some bait in this trap so we're gonna go throw the cast net a little bit and see if we can get some all right guys check it out we have made it to the bait spot um this is where i catch all my bait usually for videos there's just tons of bluegills and tilapia i can see them swimming around down there already so oh my god it's a big bass i just saw a really big bass shame i didn't bring my fishing rod but anyways we only need about 10 around that number we don't need too many all right we got one or a couple all right, let's see what we got. Looks like we got one little bluegill and one red ear sunfish. Perfect. Little red ear sunfish. He's going in. We're going to keep throwing it, guys. Like I said, we need about 10 fish, and I think we'll be good. So I'll get back with you guys when we have the amount that we need. All right, guys, it's been a few minutes, and we've already got around 10 bluegills. Um, close to 10 it'll do this should be a perfect amount guys i think it'll work great hopefully this works guys i'm super excited hit that like button to show some support now without further ado let's head down to the creek and get these guys in the fish trap now what's weird is all the bluegills are doing perfectly fine except for this guy and this is a readier sunfish so i don't know maybe they're not hardy enough i mean i'm just gonna throw them in there for some chum and the rest are going in the trap. Now, before we set the trap in the water, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is PC Fun Fishing right there. And we're using the Phantom Reel today. We're going to do some real fishing after this and see if we can catch some snakeheads on this awesome reel. If you guys want to get one yourself, the link will be in the description. Top link. Go check it out, guys. This is an awesome reel. I've been using it for over a week now, and I love it. Anyways, enough talking. Let's head down there to the creek and set the fish trap down and leave it in there for about two hours or whatever and come back and see if we got any snakeheads. We've got our bait here. A bunch of bluegills. Another one may have died, but it's all right. We still got plenty of live ones. We got a trap here. So Christian, where do you think we should put it? Like right in the middle? Maybe think... right outside the pipe? Because what I said was we got all these places where snakes can come in from, like the pipe here, there. So right in the middle, I think we'll have our best chances of getting one to come in. Guys, I put a little rock in here too, as you can see, just to get it down there. All right, so we're just gonna put these guys in. I don't know how many we got in here. Pretty good amount. All right, here we go. Let's get this bucket. Check that out. All right, dude, this is going to work. I guarantee it. All right, guys, so check it out. This fish trap, these snakeheads are going to go in. There's holes every angle. So any angle they come in from, they'll be able to get in. And as you can see, there's two holes on every side. And the snakeheads are going to be able to get in. But here's the thing. They can't get out because, look, see my hand? Like, it's closed from the inside. So it's going to be really hard for these fish to get out. So... If they go in, there's no chance they're getting out. All right, guys, there is a big gator that connects to this lake, so, or creek or whatever. Hopefully he doesn't come out of that pipe. Stick your head in there. Take a look. There we go, there we go. Check that out, right there. That Same looks so thing. good. I wanna make sure it gets to the ground. And there we go. Oh, look at this, we got a little hole here. 
It's perfect for what you're doing. It's like they made it for me. Just a simple little knot. All right. How long do you think we should wait, Christian? Like an hour and a half to two hours? No, a couple. Yeah, like two Probably hours. like two, three hours. We got enough time. Since it gets dark a lot later, it's better for videos because we have more time to do stuff. So we're coming here right before it gets dark and we're going to check the trap and see if we got anything. Two hours later. All right, guys. So we are headed back to the trap. It's right over this hill. We just did some fishing and caught a bunch of bass. Look at that. Nice rattle trap. Dude, we actually slayed the bass. So hopefully the day will be perfect and we got a snake head in this fish trap. What do you think, Christian? What, what is, what's the bet? Do you think we got one? Maybe a small one. I think we got a small one because there's small ones always. I told him about we how there's water in here. Yeah. I told him how there's a bunch of small ones in this little creek because it's like a little sanctuary so they can grow and eat the little fish. All right, guys, I really hope we got one. I'm really nervous. Dude, let's go check this out. Yeah, we're right here. Come on. I see the trap. Shut up, dog. There it is. Oh, it's so dark. Right there. There's the trap. Yep. Yeah, it did get darker. You think I should go in and grab it or pull the rope? Pull the rope from on top, maybe? I don't know. I think so. I'm just going to go in a little bit. I'm kind of scared, though. I can't see at the bottom. Oh, wait. I'm just going to untie it and bring it up there. Oh, my God. We got one. We, we got two. Dude, we got two. Dude, we got two snakeheads. We got oh. two snakeheads. No. We got a freaking peacock too! What? Look! Here, show it. Show it. Hold Do you on, see I got, that? I gotta find a hole to look at. Look, 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 look. Dude, look at them. A snakehead and a peacock? Yeah. Dude. Oh my god. I didn't even know there was peacocks in here. Did you? I've, we've seen snakeheads. We never caught peacocks in any of these lakes. This is insane. It's a little baby too. Here, I'm gonna pull the peacock out first. We'll show him off. Look at this. Dude, it's a little baby peacock. Get a good look at him. Wow, guys, check that out. I had no idea there was baby peacocks in here. All right, we also got this snakehead here. I'm gonna put him back real quick. All right, I'm gonna try and get him out. I don't want him to jump back in. These guys are known for just jumping super powerfully. Grab the gills. Come on, I gotta get a good grip on him. <laughs> oh, there he is. All right. Not too big. I wasn't expecting a big one, like I said. But it's a snakehead, dude. We got one. First ever snakehead fish trap. I'm pretty sure, on YouTube at least. I've never seen anyone do this. This is sick. Look at that. Look at all the white spots on them. That is so cool. There's the peacock. Here, we're gonna get him back in the water. But guys, I don't know what to do right now. I'm kind of freaking out. This is, this is awesome. Hit the like button, guys, if you knew I was gonna get one. Because honestly, I was kind of... I don't know because the water's a little low over here, so I don't know if they would come in through here. It, dude, I walked down there, it actually gets really deep down there here. Yeah, like you go all the way down there, it, it got pretty deep. If you didn't know, they could last uh, over three days out of water with no water, guys. Snakeheads are super sturdy. I've seen them come out of the water a little bit on the banks, so crazy fish. They got some wicked teeth on them too. Here, look at that mouth. On that that is a beast. Yeah, you can see right there. They got some wicked teeth. Put it on one. I think you can see it in the camera. We got minnows in here. Oh, oh yeah. You, you see, see that? We there, got a bunch yeah. of mosquito fish. They're like right down in there. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. We got like 20 mosquito fish in here. We caught more than two fish. Awesome. We're going to let them sit in there, get some air. And we're going to pull them out one more time and show them to you guys and release them back, guys. This is awesome. That's actually pretty cool, though. I think we caught like the two most exotic fish we could have today in this fish trap. A peacock bass and a snakehead. Usually these fish live in the same environment so i'm not surprised really all right buddy there you go that is awesome let's see where he goes he's going in the pipe, in the pipe right awesome yeah. yeah all right let's get the snake head out and weigh him here you want to grab him we got this nice scale we're both gonna take a guess and we'll see who's closer all right oh, my finger's stuck. all right there's the beauty all right what do you think hold him up and take a take a little guess I'm gonna say like a pound and a half. Pound and a half. Here, a here, let me hold them. Let me see, yeah, I want to see. All right, I'm, I'm a uh, actually, uh, my mind is a scale, so I can actually tell. It is 132. There you go. You don't even have to weigh them. Actually, it's, it's 132. You just let them go. Yeah. Here we go. We take caught one. like 20 fish. Take one last look. Dude, what this a beautiful fish is snake so head. pretty. All right. Right back where you got her. 
Look at that. Ooh. Oh, there she goes. All right. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe down below, and turn on the post notifications. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more fish trap videos, let me know because I love making them. Fish trap videos are one of my favorites to make. I mean, you can catch so much crazy stuff. It's so fun. You never know what you're going to get. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Okay, guys, video is not over. I just found something crazy in here. That looks like a, like a molly, like a Dalmatian one, right? Here, try to grab him. I was going to release all these minnows, and I spotted him. Dude. Is that what? just dirt or what is this? No. <gasps> Dude. What the heck is that? It's a mosquito fish, but it's like got black spots on it's it. It's like a Dalmatian. I've never seen that before. I actually really, I have no idea what this is. Guys, look this up. I don't know. I, it's not a molly. I, I thought it was a Dalmatian molly at first, but it's, it's a mosquito fish. But it's got like black spots on it. That is sick. I saw the colors. I thought it was a dog. Dude, I thought it was a dog. So Let's get a normal one. Yeah, here. We'll compare. I was just gonna release these guys because I mean we caught a lot. Look at this. That is freaking nuts. Oh, <laughs> that is nuts, guys. All right, well, if you guys have any idea what that is, let me know in the comments. Okay, guys, video is not over <laughs> for the second time. He found another one. That, that's the regular one, and then hold on. Yeah, he's got two. I still have the regular one in my hand. Look here, that, dude. Wait, what the heck is this? What? I've never seen this before. <laughs> Do you have any idea what this is, Christian? Let us know. Some type of sorcery. It's sorcery. This is witchcraft right here. What in the name of fish? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see you guys?